Hey guys! So I haven't done a video in a really long time and I feel like I keep saying that in all my videos because it really has been a long time since I've actually started routinely doing my videos and updating you guys on Caleb and you know doing my video hauls and that sort of thing. So today is going to be a surprise. I am going to update you guys on Caleb and where he's at with his development and also I am going to do a small video haul and let you guys um, know a little bit about how Ribbons Boutique has been doing. Um, now Caleb, I really basically just quit doing videos with him and them because um, he's at that age now where he is, you know, not able to sit still. Um, he is walking all over the place and he's getting into this and he's getting into that. So I really just slacked on doing videos for that particular reason. Um, and I really feel like I let y'all down in a way because I know whenever you have fans and they look forward to your videos and your updates and stuff and then you just quit doing them, it kind of like bothers people. So I feel really bad that I have done that. But um, I've also, whoa, <laughs> sorry for that bright glare. Um, I've also, I'm doing my video in front of my window so it may do this periodically. Um, I also just took a break from doing videos for the simple fact that I wanted to take more time out and spend it with my kids versus, you know, spending all my time on a computer editing videos and that stuff and making the videos. Um, because it is challenging when you got two kids and especially one that's walking and crawling all over the place and getting into everything. Caleb is almost in the terrible twos, so um, that's going to be really exciting here soon because he has just hit the early stages of it and I know it's going to skyrocket here pretty soon. Um, but yeah, he will be two on May 13th. Um, I'm so excited. I can't believe he's already going to be two. Um, and I do apologize for the glare in my glasses. I've actually been having to wear these, and here I'm going off on another subject. <laughs> but um, my eye has been bothering me here recently. This one over here. I was in a car accident back in March last year. I told you guys about that. And airbag hit me in the um, left side of my head, and whenever it did, it caused the vision in this eye to be worse. And it's, um, I don't know if you've noticed in my videos, but it's actually a little bit weaker looking than this eye. Um, so I have to wear my glasses. Um, hopefully that'll correct it. <laughs> but anyways, yep, I got the nerd look today. My sweater, the glasses. <laughs> um, but anyways, yes, we are going to do Elmo theme for his birthday. He loves Elmo. He loves watching Sesame Street. And I love that he likes watching shows like that because, um... It's educational and it's learning and I think if the child is going to watch TV that they should watch something that is um, to their ability to learn uh, because right now when they're at the age that Caleb's at that's the critical stage in their life that is important for learning because we are their first teachers so um, you want to do everything you can to encourage your child's education and um, further it. So. Um, I weighed Caleb just a little bit ago before I started this video and he weighs 27 pounds so I think he's average um, he hasn't been to the doctor in a couple months but he will be going here soon um, he is wearing size 24 months or 2T he can also still wear 12 month clothing in some brands um, he can also wear 18 months um, it really just depends on you know the quality of the material whenever you buy it or the brand um, he is in a size 5 diaper um, speaking of the diaper, um, we have introduced him to the potty. Sorry for the glare again. <laughs> um, we have introduced him to the potty. He is not using it um, regularly yet, though I think I'm going to give it until probably next summer. Um, I think whenever they get older in age that it's easier to teach them because Timothy was three. Um, I think somewhere around three. I think he was right at three, two and a half, somewhere around there, two and a quarter. Um, whenever I started teaching him, and as soon as I teached him, I set him on his potty with a book, and he had literally, guys, two accidents after that. He was the easiest boy to ever train because if you've heard, boys are a lot harder to train than girls. So the fact that I had an easy boy to train was awesome. I'm hoping Caleb will be just as easy, knock on wood. Um, <laughs> But we will see how that goes here soon. Like I said, I've introduced it to him, and he doesn't seem interested in it just yet. But um, what can you do, you know, if they're not interested in it yet? So we are taking that one step at a time. Um, his bedtime is between 8 and 8.30 at night. Sometimes he will sit up until 9. My husband works long hour shifts, and he doesn't get home sometimes till 10 o'clock. 
So um, sometimes I'll let him sit up till 9 if my husband gets in a little bit earlier. That way he can spend a little bit of time with him and, you know, put him down to bed, kiss him goodnight. Uh, but usually between 8 and 8.30 and he wakes two times, sometimes three times a night. It really just depends on how his day went. If he had a really long day where we were busy, he usually sleeps really, really decent. Um, if we have had a lazy day at home and he's just been so lazy that he takes a nap and he takes a good nap, then his waking throughout the night will be a lot more. Um, but normally he goes to bed, da, 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 da. <laughs> he goes to bed between 8 and 8.30, wakes two times, um, on average, usually that's around midnight, and then again around 3 or 4 in the morning, um, and then we usually all wake up around 7-ish in the morning, because I have to get my, uh, oldest up and ready for school at 7.05. Um, okay, I thought I heard someone fall. <laughs> guess I'm hearing things. Um... Caleb will have his first dentist appointment next month in March. I'm so excited to see how he's going to do and to see the results of how good we have been keeping up with his teeth. Um, I was worried about his teeth not being the greatest because he was having problems with them coming in. But um, turns out his teeth, you know, are perfect um, as far as appearance goes. And um, I'm just really excited to take him to the dentist and see how he, uh, his reaction is going to be. Because when we first took Timothy to the dentist, he did not like it at all. We literally had to restrain him. And I don't believe in restraining, uh, I can't talk today, <laughs> restraining a child uh, whenever it comes to the getting their teeth cleaned. I think that you should do it whenever they're comfortable. But um, Timothy was my first one, so I really felt that it was important for him to have his teeth looked at and cleaned. So restraining him at the time, I didn't find it as a big deal. But um, I'm glad we did it because Timothy actually enjoys the dentist now. He's not scared to go. He enjoys going because he knows he gets to chit-chat with this funny dentist. And um, his dentist is a really great, you know, pediatric dentist. I really love him. He gets, you know, involved in the kids. And um, he's just overall funny. He has a sense of humor. And um, the office itself is really kid-friendly. So I really like it. And I can't wait for Caleb to go and see how his teeth are. Um... Hopefully he does good. Uh, Caleb loves stuffed animals. He still loves his blankie. Um, he loves animals, period. Uh, real ones. Like, if we took him to a zoo, he would be so enthused. So, um, I'm looking forward to our vacation that's coming up in May because we are going to be hopefully getting to go to a zoo. And I know Caleb by May will really enjoy it. Um, but I will honestly say my phone has become Caleb's prized possession. He is so in tune with my phone like I have apps on my phone that he loves like I've got um, games on there and videos that he can watch and um, we've really taken you know a slack off of letting him play with my phone for the simple fact that I don't want my kids to be you know computer junkies you know electronic junkies for that matter um, I want my kids to be more involved in what goes on in reality in the world so um, I don't want them to stay so involved in you know this all the time and you know I want them to be able to know what's going on around them um, speaking of my oldest son Timothy I got a phone call from his teacher on Friday because he's not paying attention in class and he's not doing his work and he is talking a lot <laughs> and it's getting to the point that he's bothering the kids around him so his teacher felt the need to call me, and I'm so th thankful and glad that she did because, um, you know, us as parents need to know what's going on with our kids in school, and I'm glad that his teacher took the time to call and let me know, and I let Timothy know, and hopefully that this was a wake-up call for him because I basically took his weekend away from him. Um, he couldn't go outside and play. He couldn't play on my phone. He couldn't play on the Wii. Um, I took his trains away so he couldn't play with his trains, and we basically did this for, you know, consequences. you got to know... The consequences of your actions you have to do your work in school you can't be a slacker you can't be lazy I'll work my butt off too hard um, sitting down with him two hours every night doing his homework making sure he gets it done right I don't do that for nothing so and I'm not going to so um, you know there's consequences so he had a really long weekend and it wasn't so fun so hopefully next week will be a better week I told him that if he does good all week long we will start having frozen yogurt Fridays so um, on Fridays I'll pick him up from school and we will go out for frozen yogurt and if it's nice out then we will go to the park so um, you've also got to treat your kids you know for good behavior but you don't want to treat them for bad behavior um, now all going on to Caleb uh, his favorite show was Mickey Mouse and he still loves that show but um, he also likes Handy Manny 
and um, he will watch Thomas the Train. He'll watch a little bit of Super Y. Um, he's not too enthused with those shows yet. He does love Thomas the Train, though, because, like I said, my oldest son loves trains. He's so fascinated with them, and I think that a lot of uh, things that Caleb sees his older brother do, he's going to love and enjoy just as much. Um, but he really likes this show on Disney called Gravity Falls. I don't know why. I, I think it's because, like I said, Timothy watches that, and he's gotten so used to seeing Big Brother watch it that he's become attached to it. Uh, but that is a cartoon for older kids, but I've never seen, you know, a one and a half year old sit down and look at the TV for 30 minutes straight and be so involved with what's going on in that cartoon and for it to be a cartoon that's more age appropriate for older kids. So it's really crazy. <laughs> um, he is still very clingy, or clingy, what is my problem? I cannot talk today. <laughs> he is still very clingy to only people that he knows. He is adjusting better around others, though. Um, my mom came down last week and stayed for a full week, and um, he got used to her after three days. My mom's not around much, so when she is, um, I know it kind of hurts her because Caleb doesn't really want to go around her, and he kind of gives her that look like, I don't know you, you know, so um, it kind of hurts, you know, the fact that we live out of town, but, you know, I enjoy it whenever she does come and visit because it does give her bonding time with the kids, um, but like I said, he is adjusting and doing better um, around others. Now, Caleb's hair, oh my goodness, you all know from the videos and the pictures, his hair grows so fast, you know, before we had it cut, whenever he turned one, it was like down to here, and it was long. Um, I've never seen a kid with so much hair at such a young age. Um, I was debating actually on whether or not cutting it when he was one and I ended up doing it because um, it was just too much and I didn't want people to be like, oh, your little girl's so pretty. It's not a girl, it's a boy. <laughs> so uh, we went on ahead and cut it and he did lose his curl. I'm so sad because I was so positive that he was going to keep some of his curl and he didn't. So that really hurts. But... Um, it's still cute, even though he's got it shorter, but he has had six to seven haircuts already since he's turned one, and he's only one and a half now. So his hair grows super fast. Um, and what's really amazing about it, though, is that we can do different style haircuts for him. The fact that his hair does grow really fast, so I really like that. Um, he is able to point out people in pictures. We have pictures all over our fridge of uh, the family. And I will say, where's Mama? He'll point, where's Dada? Where's Bubba? Where's the doggy? Um, he'll point to every one of them and get them all correct. Um, he hasn't really showed much fear, um, except he will let you know that he's afraid of the vacuum cleaner. He, I think it's the noise. It's so loud. And it's just this aggressive looking machine <laughs> that's walking on his territory. So he does not like the vacuum cleaner at all. Um, he was... For a short period of time, I'm talking like a couple hours, he was afraid of uh, my oldest son Timothy's Buzz Lightyear uh, because it talked and it walked. It was like a robot, so he was scared of that uh, for a couple hours, but he got used to it, and now he plays with it all the time. Um, he is more open to eating new foods. Those of you that have, you know, watched my videos and followed me on my Facebook page know that Caleb is a very picky eater, and I had such a hard time getting him to eat um, when he was younger. Uh, but he is now more open to eating new foods, and he drinks juice and milk from the sippy cup, so that is really fantastic. I love that now. Um, and he'll pretty much take any sippy cup. If it's a fun-looking cup, he'll drink out of it, so I really like that. Um, also, um, he says, Mama, Dada, Bubba, and one word that he picked up on that we're not so happy that he knows is shut up. Um, he doesn't say it as clear. But he'll go, shut, like that. Like, he won't give the shut up part, but he will, you know what he's saying. Um, but we will tell him, no, no, that's a bad word. You don't say that. Um, he will say Walmart, but it's so cute whenever he says it. My husband actually got him into saying that because we go to Walmart, like, on a weekly basis. And it's basically home away from home. So whenever we go, um, my husband got him into going, let's go to Walmart. So now Caleb goes, Mama! So it's the cutest thing ever. Um, he'll say hi, hello, he waves bye. Um, he'll hug and kiss when asked, which is really cute. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you guys? Oh, he loves to dance. My oldest son, Timothy, has a Michael Jackson CD. And uh, my oldest is really in love with Michael Jackson. He loves the music. He loves the way Michael Jackson dances. He's actually trying to 
um, learn how to do the moonwalk, <laughs> which is so cute to watch because we have um, hardwood laminate flooring and so you basically slide across it so it's funny to watch him try to do it. Um, I think that's pretty much on all on Caleb. Um, I can't really think of much of anything else. Um, that's basically what I had written down to update you guys on him about. Um, now, Timothy, he had sprained his ankle a couple weeks ago. We were, um, I think I was in my bedroom here, and he was running out of one of the bedrooms, and he was running down the hall, and one of the dogs ran out in front of him, and uh, it was our big dog, Zoe, and, um, she's such a big dog, uh, that, you know, she's, she's a lot bigger than he is. She is a, uh, full-blooded, uh, what is she? Boxer. <laughs> and, um, she's stout, you know, she's muscular, so she basically stopped, and Timothy hit her real hard and he landed on his knees and his little ankle bent all the way back in his toes as well and he tore two ligaments on the top part of it or not tore I'm sorry he sprained the two ligaments that are right there where your foot I'll show you guys right here on the top part of your ankle where your foot bends he sprained one that goes this way and then the one that's going this way um, now basically your ligaments can only expand so far basically like a rubber band. Once you go so far, it's going to snap. If that happens, you have to have surgery. He was borderline. His did not snap, but he did have to wear um, like an ace bandage on his foot and keep it propped up and keep an ice pack on it. Um, they were going to give him crutches for it, but since he's in school and he was able to limp when walking, um, she said that he would be able to work it out a lot faster that way. Um, and the crutches would just be in his way being in school, and he didn't want to be the only one at school with crutches. So um, over like three or four days his foot healed and um, we had to switch him from his flat skating shoes which he has the Tony Hawk and they're literally they're just flat um, they have no arch in them um, but we had to start having him wear his Nike shocks because they have the arch in them and it helps him to be able to bend his foot a little bit better whenever he's walking so he's not limping so bad um, now going on to talking about Ribbons Boutique, I have a little bit of things to show you guys, not a whole, whole lot because, um, I've actually got some stuff already packaged up before I decided to do this video, but I do have a few things that I can show you. Um, Ribbons Boutique has been doing really, really well. Uh, business has picked up and I'm so proud of how things have been going. I've been having custom order after custom order. And one great thing about this is I have not been too busy where I can't take custom orders from just about anybody. So um, if you have something in mind, if you have a little girl or a little boy that's got a birthday coming up, I can make shirts, I can do onesies, I can make tutus, bows, bandana dresses, I can do it all. Um, I also have baby legs, I have shoes, little boots, just about anything. I'll definitely um, put my link for Ribbons Boutique in the down bar below for you guys to go check out. And if you want to make a custom order, you can just shoot me an email and I'll put my email address in the down bar below as well. So, um, and if you have any questions or comments um, on any of my bows or anything like that, you can also send me an email as well. Um, so a few things that I want to show you guys. I just did a 300 fans giveaway. I'm so excited. I've reached 300 fans and now I'm already almost at 400. I think I'm at like 362. But um, this is one of the little bows I've made. Um, I love this color. I love the print. Um, it's very spring-like. Or fall, I guess you could do it as fall too. Um, all my clips have no slip grips on them and they come in a partial lined alligator clip. Um, and here's another one. This one's really, really tiny and I can do just about any size. This is the uh, pink, hot pink zebra print and then it's got the white bow in the center and this has actually got the um, mustache on it. So, mustaches have been in the new. So, <laughs> everybody has been wearing mustaches on their shirts and having them in their bows. Um, they even do them for themed birthdays now, so it's pretty amazing. Um, these are a couple new ones I did. These are some clippies, and they're great for Valentine's Day. Um, whoops, slipped out of my hand. If I can show you guys, it's so bright. There we go. Um, a yellow one here. And it's actually like polka dot yellow and then a solid yellow, polka dot yellow, solid yellow. And it's got a little button on it. And then here's the back. And I haven't got the gripper put on the inside of it yet, but if you uh, request to not have one put in there, then I won't. But, um, there's that one. And then I've got another one. Um, where is it? Uh-oh. Here it is. I was going to say, I think my little one took off with it. Um, it is just a pink one. And it's got the polka dot and then the solid light pink, polka dot, solid light pink. And there's the back. 
And I also made this one too not too long ago. Um, this one's a really, really cute Minnie Mouse. And it's on a clippy. Got the little bow. And there's the back. Looks kind of like a little lollipop. That's what it reminds me of. Um, and that is it, except for one more thing. I have got a birthday party to go to, and one of my dearest friends asked me to make her little boy Mason a shirt for his birthday. And the theme for his birthday is Super Y, and um, she had asked me if I would make him a Super Y themed birthday shirt uh, for his second birthday. And it's got a few wrinkles in it because I had it folded up in the packaging. But here is his shirt. This is a 24 months or 2T size. Um, it's got his name on it. And then it's also got... hope you guys can see that. It's got the Super Y logo on it. And then also, she requested for me to put a 2 on the sleeve. So there is a 2. And it looks so cute. I can't wait to see little Mason in this. I love how it turned out. It did perfect. Um, so yeah, if any of you have, you know, requests that you want, you know, a certain shirt made for your little one, definitely let me know because I can do it. And I also send instructional sheets on, um, washing, you know, how to wash it once you get your shirt because, um, you don't want to ruin it. Um, so that's Ribbon's Boutique that I was going to show you guys. Um, let's see. I was gonna, I'll go ahead and show you guys my little short haul video, and then I'll go on talking some more. Um, I go to Kohl's a lot. Like, that's the number one place I get a lot of my stuff from. And um, I get a lot of Kohl's cash because if you sign up for emails, they send you $5 here and there um, based on um, your Kohl's cash. So, whenever I get mine, um, I like to go in there and look at their clearance racks because a lot of their stuff is anywhere from 60 to 80% off. And you can get some pretty cheap, nice stuff on sale. Um, this shirt here, I think it's a large, uh, but it is more of a summertime shirt, but I have actually...